first thing I want to ask you. We uh, freestyling? Here's the first thing I want to ask you. I'm a little confused on whether you need help or you don't need help. God damn, I think I need some help. I just put a 16 and walk up in a two liter. I need some help. God damn, I think I need some help. Hell no, I don't need no help. I'ma pull it all to myself. Oh. Yeah, that was my goal. That was my goal on the song. Like, you know, that's how I am. I, 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 don't, I don't really be knowing. I just go with the flow. Sometimes I need it, sometimes I don't. But most of the time, I don't. You feel me? Nah, the song was hard. The yeah, song was actually hard. That's how my life is. I need help, but I'm so stubborn that I'm doing everything myself. So, so what, I want to I wanna go into that song and, like, what made you come up with that concept about getting help, getting assistance? Because at the end of the day, we, I feel like we all need help. Yeah, we all do, but 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 you can't tell niggas nothing. Feel me? Like you know how like you'll tell a nigga like, hey, you need to work on your game, this and that. He'll be like, nigga, I'm better than you. You feel me? Niggas is like that. So you feel me? Nigga need some help. Okay. And, and um, when did you realize this is this is this is a banger, and uh, uh, I can't wait to drop it. Soon as I made that motherfucker, when I heard the beat, I'm like, oh, this beat slap it. Cause I had just made the crazy talk. So we, I was at, I was I was at my baby mama house in the living room on the hood with the homie. We was all right there, we were smoking this shit, we was making a crazy talk, so I was already talking crazy on that. So I was in the mood. Then I told niggas to send me beats while I was making that song, they sent me the beat. I heard it, I'm like, oh, I need some help. Dead homie. So it's, it was easy. No. It, you feel me? But I knew it was a banger when I when I as soon as I made it, I'm like, oh yeah, this hot. Now the, now the crazy talk and, and a couple of your other songs, you, you definitely talk a lot of pimp shit. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about that. That seems to be a, a, a running theme in a, about two or three of the songs that I was listening to. Some pimp shit. Yeah, I'm gonna see you hey, good looking on that shit. It's good, you already know. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on, uh, hold on. Let me see that. Let me see that. Tap in. Yes, no garb exotics. You already know. My boy's coming through. It used to be my store right here, but I don't know how my boy lost it because I, I don't know. I had got shot and then I, I, I just. I got in the house for a second, that nigga and lost the business. Wait, but show, show the artwork but we there. still got the business going though, yeah. uh, off the back end though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So let me know that car hard. So the guy just picked up some merch, huh? Yeah. <laughs> picked up his merch, you feel me? Yeah. Merch. So uh, matter of fact, safe, matter of fact, on game, I got a free shirt for you since you uh since you spent big. Hey, yeah, Bray, can you get him a shirt off the uh off the trunk? A Gerberry? Yeah, good looking, my nigga. Yep, what size you wear? Yup, get them like a small Gerberry, like a blue and a red one or something, a hood trophy shirt or something. Show a clothing line? Yup. Yeah. Right, you so you so need so. some? Huh? You need some? You go look at it right there if you need it. We got fly shit only. Do you see this? Oh, gang. Real ingo and shit. So the, the theme, the, the pimp theme throughout your music and your lyrics, where'd that come from? Uh, you even said something about I'm this, just like that. This chick was a renegade in one of your lines. Nah, I'm just like that for real. I always been like that. Like I ain't never been no sucker type trick ass nigga. You feel me? I always been like, yeah, I'm on that for real. Since I was a young nigga though. You feel me? My uncle Ben talk. You know the the song? It's the boss smacking, soft smacking, make a friend like you know. He taught me that line when I was like seven years old. I used to say that when I was like seven. All the chefs at Chuck E. Cheese know me. That's what I used to say. He told me to change to Benny Hanna when I grow up. You feel me? Shout out aunt on the hood. Yeah. Now, let's, let's get to the, the GURB term because I had the homie 211 from uh, NHP and, 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 and Munchie Yeah, B. they right down the street. Yeah, and, and Munchie B was talking about the, the history of that word and your name came up in that conversation. Tell you how the GURB, so, so first off, the GURB is the person, place, or thing. It's a noun. It could be anything. Pass me that GURB right there. Mm -hmm. Is your GURB, your, your GURB like, sounding right? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when y'all edit this GURB, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure my my, my GURB is looking. Hell you know what no. I'm saying? <laughs> so, so look, look. So this is how the word started, right? Shout out my nigga Scrapper Die. You know what I'm saying? I'm be Big Tay Dog, right? These niggas is coming from fucking, I don't know where they was coming from, IE or Norwalk or some shit like that. And they pulled, I had a, I had a uh, condo on Detroit and um, on La Brea and Fourth, right? So they come to the house. They sit down. They all depressed. And, and I, I forgot, I think Tay Dog was like, like, damn, bro, uh, Granny got the, got the GERB. It was like a bone disease or some shit, but he was saying it wrong. And, you know, Scrap, like... Shit, uh, nigga, the GERB, the GERB. And he said this shit maybe like a thousand times a day for like a month. You know what I'm saying? And then I really thought the word was goofy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, I'm not saying that. This shit sound weird, bro. Like, I'm not saying that shit, the GERB, the GERB. But you know the way, if you know Scrap, 
Scrap gonna just amplify like he gonna he been making up words forever. The young, the mystery, you know what I'm saying? The everything Scrap gonna make up some words and just keep saying it. And I think when he went to county jail, he just gurb gurb gurb. I remember niggas was calling from the county like, yeah, your homie the gurb. I'm like, my homie the gurb, like that's Scrap, bro. Like so so okay, you know he get out. And, you know, we all sand it in the section in the north, right? And then it kind of die out a little bit. And then, I don't know, out of nowhere, this nigga Frosty the Snowman just named himself Frosty the Snow Gerb. I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. Gerb Nation. I'm uh, Snow Gerb himself on the hood. Like, I'm like the Gerber, like the certified one. We all certified Gerbers, but like, you know what I mean? I'm like Gerber of the year. So, so you, you didn't start the word, but you took it to another level. Nah, yeah. I, no, I didn't start it, it's the hood. You already know, huh, huh, lingo, you feel me? Ingo lingo, I'ma take everything to the top, you feel me? We all we all a team on this shit, you feel me? And, and That's how I look at it. What's the name of your YouTube channel? Snow Gerb TV, <laughs> you think it's not? Oh, the hood. I'm really waiting for that, where the hub we said? He's supposed to be popping grease with me, these niggas burnt out. All right, so we, we, we gotta talk about the word a little bit because we wanna get your perspective on the meaning of it. It's got multiple meanings, obviously. It could be used in multiple contexts. It could be a place, a person, a thing, a her or him on F Street. It could be whatever you want it to be. But, it, you know, the certified Gerbers know the, you know what the Gerb is for real on the hood, you feel me? You got to just be intact with the lingo, you feel me? All right, so let's, let's introduce you. Like, you feel me? She she MCM Gerbed up, you feel me? <laughs> no cap at the at the Ingo Lingo swap meet, you feel me? All right, yeah, so, so, so let's uh, talk about where we at right now, man. We at the hood, no cap. We we in the trenches. Eagle and Swabby, Manchester. Oh, what's up? I told you the homies was out here. I told you they was gonna pull up. We 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 on Famchester. We on Market Street right now, gang. You feel? That's where I grew up at. No cap. You feel me? But we go far. We 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 really we we all over this bitch. No cap. If you in Inglewood, we the joints. Like we the joints. No cap. I think most people know we that. from we from Famnas all the way to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. We got the homies down there from Queen Street. We 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 the Sentinella on the cell. We got the NHPs over there. We all together though on the gang. We like on, yeah on some gang shit. Okay, so uh, introduce yourself and uh, if the homie want to jump in, um, let's get an official introduction. Of, uh, you know it's Frosty the motherfucker. Yeah 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 though. You know the snow best. So I motherfucking playing the gerb. Yeah stop playing though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, they already know who it is. I don't even got it. I don't need no introduction. They already know what's the fuck going on. No kizzy. I've been right here since I was like 12 on the hood. They know. They like, yeah, he ain't lying. You heard it? Mm-hmm. He ain't lying. I'm gonna snap. Hi, Auntie. So you, you've seen, um, I'm sure everybody that's from over here has seen this, the transition that the city's been been going through the last I, decade. I, I got a little blood in my car too, uh, in, 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 in the ashtray. No, that's my, uh, that's my step pops. Oh, it's good. It's good. What you think about the, uh, the way the city's been changing in the last decade? Uh, what'd you say? What do you think about the, the way the city's been changing in the last decade under this mayor, mayor, was it Mayor Butts? Mayor Butts? Oh, yeah. uh, Mayor Butts, man. Hey, Mayor Butts sent me to jail one time, bro. He think I don't know. Wait, how does the mayor send you to jail? Because we was getting it, we was getting a bracket right here. We had packed out like two, three niggas in one day. And he told the police to like send me to jail for anything. I remember. They told me. Mayor Butts, that's fucked up. Well, you know Mayor Butts used to be a police officer. He just cut me a check too, cause they took my money. They took like four thousand like three years ago on the hood. I just got it back from their weird ass. Did they give you the whole amount? They gave me the whole, you know, I ain't going for nothing less. Okay. My mama. Hollywood Station owed me 3000 right now. They got a Ponzi scheme going on over there. They think I don't know. Oh, my mama. <laughs> yeah, they ain't gonna try to take a nigga down. But yeah, they owe me 3 k too right now in the hood. I just got 4000 from them too. They be trying to steal my money, all the police. I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't be doing that. I just be garbing up. Watch this GLE right here. So yeah, Mayor Butts has been uh, building this city. Hey, right, I'll tell you. Yeah, O.F. Oh, State. What'd you say? Mayor Butts been building up this city this last decade. Yeah, hell yeah, this shit looking nice. P, I'm trying to get this and buy this and make this a mall before they shut this motherfucker down. You feel me? This motherfucker used to be... Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, on F Street Elite. On the dead homies. Oh, I'm about to Oh, are you trying to back up? Trying to back that little yeah, shit up. Yeah, back that little up. shit up, huh, F Street. 
Yeah, man. Uh, this shit looking nice, bro. It's good. This shit look nice, bro. You feel me? Everything going on. They didn't even, the parking lot behind us, they didn't even fix that up. The only thing they ain't fixing up is this. Because they know we be right here. You think they're going to tear all this down at some point? You said what? You think they're going to tear all this down at one point? They going to try to, but I'm going to try to buy it before they do. I'm going to try to make it a mall and get the Garden Nation store back right here. I heard they was making it a motel. Yeah, they trying to make it a motel. You know I'm going to have a bitch in here. No cap. If it is, I'm a, I'm a always getting money right here. That's why I'm, you feel me? Since I was 12, I've been getting money right here. So if they make it a motel, I'm going to make it a hotel, P. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing. <laughs> no kizzy. Mama. Oh man, we always argue. And um, it was some, it was some interesting. Uh, we argue it right now. It's some interesting exchanges. Huh? How many kids does she have? Three. All by you? Yeah, hell yeah. I, I fuck with no bitch that got no kids with nobody else. Okay. So, so you expect for her to grind as hard as you grind, and even though she's the mother of three children. Period. That's how I am, bro. Wow. <laughs> you, you, you don't. Nah, I got three kids by my wife too. For real, and that's and that's not how you operate. My wife didn't have a job for for ten years. She stayed at home with the kids. And you was feeling that? I, I wanted that. For real? Yeah, I didn't want no nanny taking care of my kids, and I didn't want no other. See, we two different people. Some people are traditional though, bro. That's traditional. Yeah, I'm not like that. I'm a new. I'm a new and improved. Like, like I'm not even a, like a traditional gamer. I'm like a new gamer. I'm a like, fly nigga. It seemed like I'm your, on your that. woman wants. To Stay home and, and take care of, business, of the family. Yeah, she want to be traditional. I, I, but <laughs> in 2024, this is not the 80s, bro. You feel me? This is a team. <laughs> this is a team thing. Like, I can't be the only My back hurt, fool. I got shot twice. My shit hurt, nigga. I can't keep carrying people on my back all day because it's going to eliminate me from what I need to be doing. And that's getting to the studio saying hot shit, boosting my ego plus four. You feel me? That's the only reason why I be having hoes around, just to boost my ego up. I don't really like them hoes. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. And, and, and she had some issues with um, dealing with you and other women. That's always going to be an issue. That's a, with any bitch. You yeah. feel me? They going to act like they don't got an issue, but they do. But usually... Um... It's just like us. We're going to have an issue with them dealing with other niggas. Just like they going to have an issue with us dealing with other bitches. But, but the goal is, if you're doing that, to hide, it, to, to hide it from her and not bring it to her and let her know that's going on. It seemed like you just doing it in front of her, or it, making it making it obvious. Making it obvious. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but it's like I don't like these bitches on bloods. Like these bitches, like right now, I can holler at her right now, get her number, all that. <laughs> I'm flaming it. I'm a if I if she if if I don't talk to her no more, it is what it is. I didn't holler at so many bitches. Fuck these hoes, nigga. They, you know how like you got so much stuff where you just start selling it. That's how it is with these hoes. Feel me? I got so many of them, I just start giving them away. Hey, how about one of the homies? They want your number on Bloods. <laughs> on the set. Uh, yeah, elite team. So, so where do you think, you, where do you and, um, and her stand right now? Got, y'all got an understanding or it's the same old shit? Shit, I don't think she gonna ever understand me, man. I hope she do. What day? <laughs> Feel me? Well, it's good. <laughs> hey, Auntie, you hear me? <laughs> no, for real. Hey, at least you, all three of them are by, all three of your kids by one woman, though. Nah, because I'm like a good nigga. You feel me? I always, like, I can't deal with, I can't deal with all them emotions. P, I'll get the, mm, I'll get the whipping, the whipping, meet that are out and start slapping bitches. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, that's my man, man. Yeah. What up with it, OG? Hey, look, man, even Street TV out here getting up with the gang and all that. Hey, bro, hold on, all that, all that, bro, on the set, bro, all that, bumping and all that, bro. What's going on? You see what the fuck going on? Yeah, what's up, What's up, fool? My bad. Yeah, tell that nigga to bick it before you get a ticket, for real. Hey, you better bick it before you get a ticket, gang, parking in that handicap. You didn't get the other little blunt? You mucked that shit already? Yeah. I think it's another one. You, you, you can spark that shit. You can get some weed to this, whatever, but I'm smoking right now. It's bull. We in the hood. I need to pull that up, uh, pull my lean. So, um, yeah, what's up, Alex Blood? I think I was asking, so um, 
Oh yeah, you got all your th all three kids by one woman. That's a good thing. See, hey, hey this is a good interview too, cause I ain't never had an interview where I'm comfortable. Like, ah, oh, this is the land. Like, I'm comfortable, so I'm comfortable talking. You feel me? Well, one thing I do, I like to pull up in uh, in people's turfs. Yeah, for I, sure. How many people have you've done? A, you've done quite a few interviews, but they in never the in the, never in the yeah. set. Yeah. They scared. Yeah. You not scared. Nah, you I'm Alex. Up. You gang. That's my man from you can come here even if you don't do an interview and just chillax on the dead homies. It's a lot of it's a lot of aunties out here. I can't really pop it how I want to, <laughs> but on the hood, you feel? Me? Oh, uh, oh, what? Oh, oh, I, all right. Let me know something then. Let me know something then. So, so you, you don't have plans on having kids by any other women then, or is that? Nah. Something? Okay. That would. Nah, I always knew I wanted three kids when I was young. I do like I want three kids. That's it. Yeah. Why? Well, like hell, no, I don't play all that shit. If it happened, it happened. But hell, no. Nah, hell, no. I'm straight. I don't even like, I told you I don't like these hoes like that. All right, so, so even though you saying uh, what I'm talking about is old school, your young girl appreciates the old school way of life. Even though she's new school, but she appreciate that old school way of life. I mean, you got to. You can't always be all gas on everything. Yeah. I just be talking so I could I be high and shit, but you know, sometimes I do want to just go home and chill. I don't want to always, I'll be outside 24 seven, bro. But you was pressing her to, br to bring home more money. Because that's what that's what you need to survive in this life. Yeah. So you don't be you, you don't want to be scared and be on your ass trying to see what's the next. I, I'm scared of that type of shit. You feel me? But you know this is a big debate on Clubhouse of whether or not we want our women working and grinding or whether we want our women raising the kids. It's it's actually a, a debate going. I want on. both. Both, you gotta, you gotta grind and raise the kids. You gotta do both. We gotta, you know, you gotta, you can't just, I don't know. To each is on. I'm getting that dough, yeah. that bag, that loaf, no cap. All right, now you lifted your shirt a moment ago, man. You had, you got the zipper. Yeah. Uh, th that's the exploratory surgery. Line. Yeah, all that type shit. Man, they had, I guess you, they had to put you under. Open yeah, you up. I woke up socking the doctors, <laughs> just swinging that shit. No cap, I ain't know what the fuck was going on. I'm like, who is you niggas? How many, um, how many slugs did they have to pull out and find? find I only them? got shot once, one time, and then I got shot once another time. Okay. Just one time each time. One time each time. Yeah, when, type shit. When did you have to get uh, that uh, opened up like that? The first or the second? The second time. Second time, that's what I stubby opened up. So that second shooting was a little bit more serious than the first one. Nah, they both was like the same. The first one was more serious because the hobie got killed. So like, oh, yeah. that one was more serious to me. But the second one, it was like, it was kind of like I know what this feeling is. I, I already know what's going on. So I kind of went that scared. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Now after that first one and you recovered, did you go get some therapy for witnessing the homie getting killed? Like as far as mental therapy? Yeah, sitting down with a therapist. Nah, I just there. I, I I am a therapist on bloods. You feel me? So I therapy I therapy myself. You feel me? I just or I talk to certain people, call people. You know, my homies is my therapy. My mom might be my therapy. My cousin. You feel me? I might just I might holla at you. You never know. You might be my therapist. I might be your therapist. You never know. But I think when you're dealing with something that's traumatic that you dealt with, you need professional therapy. Nah, that's white people shit. That's what they that's that's what they want us to believe. That's white people shit, bro, because you go you gonna have me go to a therapist that don't even know or have the same feelings that I even felt. What if you found a therapy a therapist that was born and raised in Inglewood and went to Morningside and, and that I would that I would holla at, bro. Yeah, they, they exist. I would holla at any therapist because we don't even gotta talk about just that. Yeah. I can holla at a therapist just for my business mind. But do you feel like you did go through some extra trauma? Hell yeah, nigga. On the hood, but you know, I deal with it how I deal with it on the set. Well, I think that's a problem that uh, us as black folks, we feel like we just deal with it when we deal with it, rather than getting the professional help. What you think about that? Like, I feel like I'm a different person. Like, when I say that type of shit, it's like, I could I could sit, on my, I could sit at home and play PlayStation for 30 days and still get bands. Uh, if I get up for two, three, four days and go get, I'ma still get my rent paid. I'm just like that, like, I can lollygag, I can make it look good though, you feel me? Like, everybody can't do that though. I'm not saying try this at home, don't try this at home. <laughs> I'm just saying, you feel me? I've just been like that, I skipped school, I'm still rich, you feel me? Like, I, I ain't rich, but I'm getting there, you feel me? Like, I'm richer than my teachers, you feel me? But not all of them, cause one of my teachers, he a rapper now. What's, uh, what's bro name? Ooh. The nigga that rap, uh, from Eagle High? 
D-Smoke? Yeah, D-Smoke. That was my teacher. I don't even think he remember. All right, let's go back to the beginning with the school shit. Uh, what elementary did you go to? Uh, I went to, uh, I went to create a learning center, like, over there in the 40s and shit, like, in the 30s and shit, or, like, King and Arlington. I went to, I went to elementary over there. I went to, yep, that's what I went. Yep, I went there all five, all five grades, from first to five grade. And then middle school, I started going to Eaglewood, uh, Warren Lane and shit. I went to Audubon over there too. I went to like every school on King, no cow. I went to every school on King and every school in Inglewood. I just chose this side. I didn't, I didn't really like that area like that. So when did the, I'm, I'm assuming in middle school is when you started getting acquainted with the hood? Hell no, like high school, I ain't go cap. Niggas be saying middle school and shit. I was a kid, <laughs> I was a kid, bro. Yeah. Middle school, I was a regular kid. I was normal, regular kid, chilling. Just doing normal shit, playing a game, going home. High school, that's when I started joining up. That's why I'm still a joint now, because I didn't start too early. So uh, 9th, 10th, 11th grade? Mm-hmm. Well, yep. Know, uh, a lot of people don't really know this. I don't know if you know this, but Nipsey didn't get put on until he was 18. Ain't that wrong with it? Yeah. Because he a joint. You know, but it's not about where you get put on, it's a, or it's not about where you do something. It's about how efficient you are in the years. You know, it's like basketball. You could be a rookie and be the nigga. It don't matter where you do it. It's about how you do it and, and what you do. You how do you feel me? about some of these dudes that be in their twenties though, and they, and they, they get from put the, on they from the IE somewhere, and they come to the set and want to get put on at like 23, 24? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know that shit. I mean. Like I said, everybody starts somewhere, you feel me? So everybody start everybody gotta start somewhere, but I mean, I don't really feel it like that, but if you get if if you doing you active and you doing everything you supposed to do, a nigga can't really say nothing too much. Feel me? Efficiency and longevity. That's what it's about. Longevity and efficiency. You get money for a year and then be broke for the next seven years, you ain't no get money, nigga. You would just pass that one year. You feel me? Efficiency and longevity. Like this right here, but I'm talking about it used to be like 50 people right here. No cap, it used to be like 50 hobbies right here. They get like high school. I didn't really, I didn't really like. I used to get kicked out that motherfucker. I used to go right here to Eagle High, right here down the street. Them niggas didn't like me like that. The, the teachers and shit, they used to fuck with me and shit. Cause I was too smart for that shit. I feel like school is a is a is a regular person thing. Like they don't teach you how to be great at school. You get what I'm saying? They just teach you how to be a worker. I'm a boss. Feel me? School, but stay in school. Stay in school. But it's about what you do with it. You get what I'm saying? But in school, I didn't really like that shit. It was cool. I was there, you know, I was I was talking to people and shit, doing my work sometimes, but I'll ditch, go smoke, chill with the homies right here. Regular. After after school is my thing. After school, we used to be right here after school just baking and smoking, chilling, parades right here, homegirls, homies, squabbles right here in the uh in the parking lot right here, squabbles right here. Regular, I don't know, school was fun. When you was in high school and, and during your years, was the, the Mexican black tension still still a thing? Yeah. Like, that was like middle school though. I'm 26, so that was like middle school era. Hold on. Yeah, that was like, that was like middle school era. Like, I'm not really with that type shit. My last name Lopez, if you didn't know. So you feel me? I, I, I'm, I got a little bit of both in me. So, you know, I fuck with my Ross so you feel me? On the hood, I fuck with my Threshay niggas and all that. So you feel me? Uh, uh, so, so you cool with the I-13s? Yeah, on the set. They're my niggas. I, 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 I got a couple people from there on the hood. I was in the pill. I went to school with them, all that. What about the, uh, the 18s over here on 106? I already know them like that, but last time I seen them, they put up on me. They was like six thick. I was with a little Mexican bitch. She was bad too. They put. I had red pants, so I was. I was. Nigga, they put up on me. They looking at me. They like that's frosty. I was just looking like they like man. Let's get a picture, fool. <laughs> on the set. Check it out. Damn homie. I took the picture with him and all that. So shit. I don't know. I ain't really tripping on them niggas. Feel me? I know in the 90s, uh, the Mexicans and blacks used to fight at all the high schools out here in Inglewood. Yeah. Uh, de Mayo or Black History Month. That shit over with, bro. That shit over with, nigga. At my shows, it's, it, be, it be more Mexicans than blacks there. We, nigga, I fuck with them. Nigga, me, nigga Mexicans, them niggas is loyal. 
niggas, them niggas is about their bread, nigga. You feel me? So all that black and Mexican, that shit is over with, bro. We all together, nigga. I was one. We against the police. Feel me? Unless they, unless they helping and serving the community and doing what they supposed to do, then you feel me? Then we ain't against them. Okay, I want to talk about the police because I remember in the early 2000s, the police in Inglewood was knocking brothers down. And I don't think any Inglewood PD ever got charged for, for killing some of these unarmed brothers. This is what I would say about the police because I, it's good police and it's bad police. You feel me? You can't just bash all of them because if they wasn't here, then, then it'd be a purge, you feel me? I'll be in my house with rocket launchers right now, waiting for you niggas, you feel me? But, all right, Auntie, y'all already know. Hey, yeah, my good folks over there, you feel me? They just out here just showing they the holiday spirit, you feel me? My movie, hey, man, this shit is crazy, bro. My life is crazy, you know that? This shit is burnt out. Inglewood didn't change a lot, though. But yeah, it's good police and it's bad police, bro. Don't be the bad one, that's it. That's all I'm saying. Feel me? Do your job. Go home to your family. Don't do no extras. Some police, they be off duty, still trying to be on duty. Hey, Bunchy B told me a ranking story the other day on the podcast. Is this an officer that you, you familiar with, Officer Rankin? I know, blood. Hell yeah. Think I know? I'm ready for right here. Hell yeah, I know that nigga. He cool. He all right. He ain't tripping no more. What? Uh, I thought he was like... Uh, type. Uh, nah, I, I don't really bash nobody like that on camera, fool, because I did, I get up with niggas in person for real. I know these niggas for real, so it ain't no point in bashing them on camera. I know these niggas, like, for real, for real. Like, I knew Rankins when I was 13. He didn't know me like that good, but he started knowing me a little bit, but shit, we, they ain't tripping on us, we ain't tripping on them. I'm just chillaxing. I got my store right here. It's closed down now, but I have my store right here. We just chilling. We good vibes, bro. You see, we ain't messing nobody yet. We right here doing our own thing, minding our business. People laughing, they love us. People love us out here, for real. The community, they really love us out here. We just like, young, you feel me, the young kids, they know we just bad as fuck. That's all. Um, let's go Rams. inside, let's go inside right, real quick. Let's go inside. Huh. You, still, you still recording? Yep. The, 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 uh, the, um, the Rams, what's the deal? The Rams, uh, I'm a fan of everybody that come to LA. Uh, as far as um, as far as team, this shit, um, God, I fuck with everybody who who like make us win. If they weak though, nah, I'm straight. I'm straight if they weak on my mama. That's not cool. That ain't even straight. Nah, you know, I, I fuck with the Lakers. Yeah, we ain't, yeah. I remember when they left. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't, I don't think I was old enough. He was only three. They left in 99. Damn. Yeah. I fucks with the Lakers, though. Inglewood was pissed back in 99, too. I remember. When they left? Yeah. For real? Kobe, my nigga. I grew up watching that nigga. Hey, Kobe played here in Inglewood for those first three seats from 96 to 99. He, he was, was balling? He was balling. I know, I know the homies was like, yeah, on the up. Oh, and they didn't get their first title though until uh, 2000. They had already left Inglewood. Was Magic playing? No, nah, Magic left in uh, in '92 after he, he announced he had AIDS. So Kobe never played with Magic? Nah, they never played together. For real? If if, if Magic didn't leave the league after he he had caught AIDS, they might have played a couple seasons together. That would have been hard. Yeah, but Magic was already he would have been old by '96. He would have been like an old guy. Not I don't say old guy, but late 30s. You know. He could pass that ball. But um, he still he still had about three or four seasons left in him when he left in '92. Mm. So Kobe came right after that. Yeah. Um. So let me ask you this: How many titles? Let's see if you know how many titles have been won on Inglewood soil by professional teams. Damn. Oh. I don't, I only know two. Two. That's all I know. Man, the Lakers won five in the '80s, right here in Inglewood. Nigga, I wasn't even born. Hey, don't matter when you're born. How many, how many championship titles were won on Inglewood soil? All right, it gotta be ten. No, I don't think it's ten. Uh, Seven. The Rams, then the Rams. The Rams. They just them won five. You said. The five. That's six. And I, th I think that's it. Might be the, seven. The bubble championship don't count, right? 
Nah, yeah, it's only like six. I think it might be six. It might be seven. I'm not sure. But yeah, six, six tied. Let's say it's six. That's a lot for a small town like Inglewood. No, yeah. There's large cities that don't got that don't got nothing. They got nothing. Yeah. Nothing. They don't get nothing. They don't get nothing. Yeah. You know, LA. That's what that's what we do. We breed elite shit. Elite team only. Yeah. So um, you just dropped some new music recently. A couple of your bangers are uh, from like a couple years ago. What's that one that I like? That's like what's that? It's got some million views. I don't know. I got one that's called About That. That's new right there. I put that out like five months ago. I got a million with with uh with my young nigga, he ain't busy. Okay. That shit going crazy right now. All the little mama sheetas in that motherfucker. And um, have you been, have you made the list of the... Who got that blunt brace? What's that uh, hip hop list of uh, rappers? Pay attention to that shit where they list all the rappers and rank them. Hell no. Nah. Nah. I know Drake at the top of that motherfucking NBA Young Boy and Lil Durk and them niggas. I don't know. Uh, that's just like, if you see, y'all don't be into that shit like that though, because I'm trying to get there. What you got in that cup? Good perp. No green on the set. 500. $500. That's what I got up in there. Two. What's the deal? Oh, I, know, I know the song. Two, hey, $200 sips, P. Hey, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I got to ask you about the song, You Dig. Mm. That's on some pimp players. That's shit. viral. Yeah, that's the one. That's viral. That shit is so viral. I just, I don't know shit. I just was in there just, just you feel me, digging myself on that street. Hey, feel hey, me? Hey, it's, it's hard to know when something's going to go viral, whether it's going to be 100000 No, I knew that one was going to go mil. I knew. That one got like 8 mil, though, or like more than that. It got like, I ain't going to lie, that shit got like, I ain't gonna lie, I got like 200 million streams like all over, the, like you feel me? But oh, when you had all of them up. I didn't know it was gonna go brazy like that. But I knew like, I told Ron Ron, that's what made the beat. I'm like, yeah, this one go, bro. Yeah, this one go, go brazy. All right, well, let me ask you, what's one of your songs that you really thought was gonna go crazy, but it didn't do what you thought it was gonna do, but you feel like it was a, it was a, a great song? I need some help. Okay. I need some help. But I mean, I only been off for three months, four months. You know, songs might take a year. Nigga, your dig didn't blow up till the fifth year. It was already blew up, but it didn't go crazy till like the fifth year it was out. Oh, okay. Once I got out of prison, it went back going crazy when TikTok came out. You feel me? Now, so now your dig is it's kind of got an old school, old school vernacular. You know, your dig is an old school. Your dig thing. type shit. So to hear a youngster like you talking about your dig, where, where'd you learn this sort of uh, type of language? Just the lingo, just yeah. you know, just on that. You feel me? On the bits, you feel me? You just learn shit. I don't know shit. Pick up on shit. Just how you gonna pick up on the guard? You feel me? <laughs> yeah. You might start saying that shit when you leave out this motherfucker. You feel me? No, I was saying uh, when when next phone call. Come, said, on, let's go back outside real quick. The homies out there. All right. Nah, nah. Yeah, well, yeah. What you say though? I'm listening. Uh, when, 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 when Oh yeah, my house is probably playing PlayStation or sleep or something. I was I, I, I was fresh out of jail. That's my young nigga though right there. On the hood, I knew I knew him since he was like 14. Who's that? X4. Oh okay okay. I knew him since he was like 13, 14 on my mama. It's oh. my young right there. How, how, do you, how, how come you known him so long? Oh cause you was cause my you cousin from over there? my I got like three cousins from over there. Oh. Feel me so and I went to school over there, but I, I don't know him from school cause I'm older than him. I just, I got, I got family from over there, so you know, that shit regular, you know. I'm a joint, you feel me? So, joints wanna know joints, you feel me? Or or either, it's either you beef with them or you just joints, you feel me? No joints, and it's like, but that's my young nigga. I was already 18, 19 when I met X4, you feel me? So, it was like, you feel me? That was a little bro, you feel me? Yeah, he buzzing right now, huh? Yeah, hell yeah, I'll, t I'll tell him keep going. Keep that shit going on the hood. Hey, we got good weed, let us know. I asked him about if he would do a song with somebody from, from a, a blood set. Your name came up, but he said if we did a song, we, we would only, it would just be for us. I mean, that's because just LA, you know how LA is, this shit brazy. But if YG and, Where that blend and, and, and we could do a song together, why can't y'all two do a song together? Cause YG is from Compton, they don't beef. Nipsey is from 6-0. It's too close. 
No, they don't beef. Compton, we don't beef for Compton. Yeah, kids. but I'm saying the ex-foes are just too close. We beef. Yeah. But me and ex foe don't beef. That's a little bro. I just seen bro like yesterday, I think. No cap. I was just with bro yesterday on the hood in the studio. I pulled up on him. His homie was in there and all that. Regular. I put up by myself on the hood. Regular. I didn't, nigga, I didn't put up on that block before. Like, nigga, I really, I, nigga, my cousins and shit really from over there. Like, I know they whole hood on my mama. You feel me? So, that shit regular. But X Fo, that's really, that's really little bro though right there. And he, and he somebody over there, he doing something. Like, he's, he, he, a, uh, oh, they're gonna police with they weird ass. He, a, um. They, they driving slow too, huh? They uh, inspirational person over there. You feel me? Yeah. Like like how I am, inspirational. Like it shit is it shit is just easy. You feel me? Hey, you guys kind of have a similar style. Would you agree to that when you guys rap? I was listening to one of your songs and I, my wife and I was listening to it and I was like, is Frosty rapping or is he talking? Man, fuck that. Don't even move that shit. Them niggas all about dick. Oh shit, they know that's your car. Hell yeah, them niggas is busters. Bro, they see what the fuck going on. We doing an interview. They just want to be weird. Running your shit. What they say? Chilly. Hell no. No, got off. Yeah. Right. But grown ass man, I'm just doing. My, I'm just making money real quick. I'm just chilling. I ain't doing no. We got no guns. We ain't got nothing going on. <laughs> Feel me? I'm about to get up right. out of here in about 30 you minutes. You about right now? It's my car. Parked in the handicap. Got you. All right. <clears throat> All right. It's good. I'm about to move it. I'm about to move it right there. Okay. How you been? Shot again. I don't know. I was there. Nah. Yeah, I was. I was sitting out of Brea? Yes. No, I got shot after that again. Oh, I got shot again, yeah. Where? At Culver City. Oh, shit. Yeah. That? Like four months after that. Really? Yeah. So, I've been telling, I've been rapping and shit. I ain't been doing nothing. Shit. All right, man. Let's get it. All the good shit, man. All the good shit, man. Yeah, I've been saying, we, we, we done with all that. We trying to go the straight path. This shit too much, you know? Hey. I got you. I'm glad I got you. I got you. I ain't got nothing but some snow garb exotics, man. That's it. You know what I ain't never seen? I ain't never seen anybody smoking a blunt while Talking to the oh, no, they not tripping off that type of shit. They, these is the real, these, them niggas, that's what, this, these are what I was talking about. I ain't seen them. You hear what he said, long time no see. He really wanted to sweat me, but he don't want to embarrass me because he know how viral I go. So he like, <laughs> he, he like, man, let me, because he know, because they be sweating me all the time. They like, he really wanted to check me and shit. That's why I lifted my shirt up. Cause he, yeah. he really wanted to check me and all that, but he see the cameras and all that. He don't want to embarrass himself or embarrass me. Feel me? You see how I'm saying? We got to understand it. Hey, your boy just moved it right into another disabled spot. It, it, it's you know, cool. You ain't tripping? Nah, we ain't tripping. They, okay. they really ain't even tripping on the car. They really tripping on me. They really telling me to get up out of here. Feel me? Because they know when I come around, shit get bracken. They know. So, but I don't even be on that, fool. I'll be, I'm good. I told you, I'm the shirt man. Gerd man. That's it. <laughs> I don't know nothing else, bro. I just grew up here. You feel me? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. What's up, little bro? I'm sorry, he like. Hey, we got, hey, we got good garb exotics. We got t-shirts. He came over here. We was already right here smoking. What you mean? That's the hook. All right, well, we got shirts. Don't be coming over here not buying nothing. You, you got to give out numbers or buy something over here. Hey, if you don't get a number, you can't park here on the hood. <laughs> Tell her to come here. Hey. She's coming. Oh, no. Nah, she's going to handle her due diligence. She's doing her own thing. I don't know what she's doing. She cute. Look at her. She cute. Is she? I ain't look. She all right. You feel me? I told you. I don't, I don't really like these hoes like that. I mean, I ain't calling her. You feel me? Because I'm going to be respectful. But I don't really like um, I ain't on that. Let me ask you about... Um, what, what I know a, who I like. What makes a chick a hoe out here? What does she do? What does a woman got to do to where you're like, okay, she's a hoe. Fuck that. Oh, she just said every nigga face just like it. But it's like you with all the joints face. Like when I bring you around the joints and you don't know how to act on the set, I know. Yeah, you got, <laughs> boop, get her out of here. It's like you got to bring your bitch around the joints. 
You feel me? To know if that's your bitch. To test her out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Bring that bitch over here to the block where the homies do you good. Fill on your booty. No cap. I got that from my boy Gotti. Shout out Gotti. <laughs> Never seen nobody smoke a blunt in the police's face before. They, they, they really not tripping on that? Even though it's technically illegal. Nah, hell no, nah, this shit legal as a bitch. Well, the feds, the feds ain't made it legal yet. In California, this is legal, nigga. This is weed, nigga. I didn't smoke weed while I smoked weed yesterday while the police pulled me over. I was so mad, nigga. Uh, Hollywood Station, matter of fact. Okay, let me ask you this: If they pull you over and they smell weed in the car, is that enough for them to do probable search? Yeah, Without for sure. I get pulled out every time. But they gonna search your car you every know, time. Consent. Every time, cause my car just smell yeah. like gas. It's yeah. like a chimney in there. So that it's still not legal then. You right. Well, it, it's legal. It's like they're not. If you not gonna get no case, you're not gonna go to prison yeah, for but it. They gonna search your shit. They gonna search your shit though. Yeah. You know that's the police. They gonna figure out a loophole to everything. Yeah. But you're not gonna go to prison for it, bro. Yeah. As long as you're not going to prison, everything is good. Yeah, but what if you got a couple of burners in the car and you then, then you don't need to be smoking, <laughs> dumbass. You feel me? Or you need to have your shit together to where it's clever. You feel me? Yeah. Or get your papers. You feel me? So would you say this was a, a, a decent exchange with the police? A typical yeah. exchange, like? Nah, that wasn't typical. I told you it was only typical because you was right here and you got the camera. They don't want to embarrass they so they know street TV is viral. They probably know you. They like that's Alex. He finna he and, and they see you recording. They seen you. They they know they own there. So they like nigga, we ain't finna do him like that. But usually they do me like that. But ever since I don't know that nigga when I got shot and all that shit, they was all right there and shit. All the same police that be on my ass, they was right there when I was laid out on the floor. So they know like nigga on the set, nigga. Oh, so, so that cop pulled up when you got shot the first time. All of these niggas pulled up, the whole squad. You know, it's them. They they come for the gang shit. So they like shooting. They pull up. It's me right there. I'm looking at their ass on the floor like, man, I don't want to hear nothing. My mom is get me to the to the gerb. Get me going. Get into the gerb. I, I need to hit some snow gerb exotics fast. So the gerb in that sentence was the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> get me to the gerb fast. Get Hey, see, man. you pick up on Lego because you ain't, see, you see, you smart. Hey, you funny, though. You actually could be a comedian. Nah, hey, yeah, hey, I, ain't, I, I yeah, but I ain't, you know, because, you know, comedians, they get laughed at on Bloods. I ain't no laughing matter on the set, you feel me? Okay, but, so that means you couldn't do that battle rap where you talk shit to somebody in their face. Nah, you, I don't like all it. that. You got to take it. I don't like all that type <laughs> shit. I don't do the rap. I ain't even ever dissed a nigga on the song. I don't do dissing and all that rap shit. I already get to it in the field. No cap. But yet, um, your dig is, is a super viral hit of yours, man. When, when you going when you gonna get a produce another super viral hit like your dig? I be say it just it's all y'all. Y'all gotta pick what's viral. I just gotta just keep going. You feel me? I don't. You never know. You just gotta dish out songs. Feel me? I might get a song with this nigga. I might, you know? You never know. Okay. Shit. Yeah, we got we got one song right now. It's had one million views in five months. You feel me? We gotta get another one like that again. Feel me? we just gonna keep pushing. Really, the goal is to get rich. The goal is to get rich. That's my goal. I don't know about you, but that's my goal. Now, how do you, uh, what's the process? Not of, you, Alex. Yeah, yeah. I'm what, talking about you. What, what's the process of, of creating a song? <laughs> do, do you have a, uh, you get the beat first. You get the beat. You had a nigga make the beat. Why well, get up in that bitch and go crazy. Just talk crazy after that. You pull your walk heart, your cream soda, your Trish. That's what it is right here. That's to make a nigga talk crazy. Feel me? And, and do you get beat from guys locally? Because now you can get a beat from someone across the world. And you need your Snow Gerber Exotics. If you don't got the Snow Gerber Exotics, you, you not talking crazy like that. You are, you talking regular. We talking crazy. What you say? Where do you get your beat from? I get a beat from you if you know how to make the shit. No cap. On the dead homies. Uh, as long as the beat sound good, we could get it going and we could get some dough. How many beats do you have to go through before you like okay, you like one? Because every beat. It could be the first one. It could be the last one. Uh, it, so that's about to go through 50 beats, nigga. With what nigga? Where it, then sometimes I fall asleep on the niggas, wake back up and it's like, oh yeah, this hot. Sometimes it be me. Sometimes it be them. You never know. You ever get a beat that you like, but then the guy tells you, well, somebody else wanted the same beat, and then you gotta kind of like negotiate. To, to keep the beat, or do you share the beat? Or do you you want to own the beat I ain't never, for you? I ain't never share the beat with a nigga. It's just like, if he already on there, 
It's whoever got it first. But if my song hot, then I'm keeping that shit and it's just like, shit, fuck it, we gonna share that bitch. But usually I just have a nigga make it from scratch so we don't gotta deal with that. Yeah. Type shit, you feel me? Uh, let's talk about your videos. You got the, um, um, Voice Go Hard. He, he, he shot a couple of your videos. Voice Too Hard? Voice Too Hard. He shot your dick. He shot your dick. Yeah, he shot your dig. That's my boy. He straight. I ain't shot one with him in a long time. I really fuck with uh, 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 Louis Unassi. That's who been doing all my videos lately. Feel me? So, he been going hard. You feel me? So, shit. I fuck with it. I fuck with fuck with me, but you got to be elite. I only fuck with elite niggas. I fuck with niggas who want they shit. Like, I'm not finna do a feature with a nigga who only got one song. Or like, unless it's hot and he doing publicity. And, all this type shit, but if you not on that, like I'm on that, then I, you feel me? It, you know what I'm saying? So if somebody wanna wanna um, get you on a feature from out of town, um, how I, did they get in touch with you and what, how did they? Uh, oh, you can just go through my manager, hit the DM, the email. You feel me? Come with them bad because you feel me on the set, and then we can get to it right, just like that, easy. I'm talking about in 30 minutes, no cap. I didn't walked in the studio, did a verse in 10 minutes on the hood, and it was hot. You feel me? So, so who's uh who are some other colleagues of yours that rap from the city of Inglewood? Cause um there's a there's a few of you guys that is doing it right now. Lil Deuce, Rochi on the hood. Oh, Lil Deuce, yeah, Lil yep. Deuce. Munchie on the hood. Um, shit, me on the hood. Um, we got all type of uh, we got the homies uh from Queen Street rapping the young homies. You feel me? We got all type of homies rapping full on the set. They just doing it up. You and feel it's me? It's a good time for someone like Mac Ten that has the resources to come back and grab a couple. of couple of cats from Inglewood. If you want to get some dough, cause I'm getting it. I ain't even worried about it. If they don't want to, they ain't got to. Cause I'm getting dough right here on my baba. Right here, everywhere. I'm getting dough everywhere. So if niggas want to fuck with me, they can. Niggas know what's up or the hood. That homie, I'm not nigga, I'm not dope. I'm not bad getter over here. I'm not MMB, that Manchester money boy for real. On the set, like the, man, come on bro, you better ask. If I ain't got, if I ain't got nothing, that money, that's what I got. That's what, they, for a long time. I've been getting that money over here, you better ask somebody. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I saw a couple of your interviews where they, uh, I guess you pull up in the studio, but we out here, we right here in the turf. I'm about to get rich off these. What's that? The Garb Nation sweatsuits, you feel me? Garb Nation right here, Garb Nation right here. Man, you need to take the money dap off and put the Garb Nation on for real, on the set. You feel me? Oh, yeah, what's up, B? On the hood. Yeah, you know where I'm at for you. Ain't gotta call me. You already know where I'm at. Pull up, <laughs> nigga on the set. What's up, man? Oh my mama, I got him in a, I got him in a trunk. Let me know that your, your your fish wagon though on the dead homies it is. Yeah, what's going on though? What you saying? Johnny just pulled up all type of shit. They ain't tripping. They ain't no. Yeah, it's that interview. <laughs> Yeah, I thought they was gonna run, run in the place on your car and it was gonna come back, you know, unregistered or some shit like that. On this? This is a fucking $150,000 car. Yeah. Nah, they were just running my play. They asked me if I was on probation and shit. They just was fucking with me. They know every time I'm right here, they just fuck with me, but I'm not on that, bro. They know that. They know they don't know. Never find me with nothing. I think them the same police that took my 3000 on the hood, but they know it's. I don't really take it uh, personal. It's business. Now, I heard, I heard you tell them that uh, the, you got shot in Culver City. Uh, how do you get shot in, in Culver City? That's a, a nice part of, that's a, one of the nicer parts of our, of our town. How do you, how you end up getting shot in one of the nicer parts of our town? Some personal shit. Okay. Type shit. It wasn't like, you know, gang shit. It was some personal shit. Regular. It's damn near like going to Beverly Hills. Culver City is a couple steps below Beverly Hills. Yeah, but Culver City, that's where the Fox Hills Mall at. Oh, that's right. Culver City do kind of wrap that's, around. That's yeah. that's that's probably the worst mall in LA as far as gang shit go. Yeah. I don't really know no mall that's worse than that. Uh, hey, what's the worst mall in LA right now? What about the one in the jungle? Worst mall? Yeah. Carson. <laughs> nah, like not for shopping, like as far as like you gonna run into some niggas. Oh, the Fox Hills. Hills. What I say? Yeah. What I say? Told you. That's Culver City, but or the Beverly Center. Fox Hills worse though. Yeah, you go. At least the Beverly Center, at least the niggas got money, so they, they might they not do nothing because they ain't spending money. Yeah. Fox Hills, we don't miss. Yeah, that's like the corner Fox of Culver City. Yeah. I don't think of Culver City when I think of the Fox Hills. Fox Hills, nigga, you either gonna see us, you gonna see the '60s, you gonna see somebody in that motherfucker. We used to go up there just to do bullshit. We know we're gonna see somebody. Like that. 
Yeah, for sure. For sure, you go catch somebody or you go get caught. No, yeah, for sure. I, I bet you that mall's had more shootings than any other mall. Yo, niggas, they caught people in there. They got caught in there before, all type of shit. Nigga, everybody, yeah, they, that, that's like, a, that's the bridge. They, they, if you know about the bridge, then you know on the hood. I don't even got to say nothing. If hey, you, and when you was, when you was young, when, before you had a car, did you ever take the bus to the Fox Hills Mall? You think I didn't? <laughs> I used to take the bus all up and down and shit, the 115 times 210 on the set. That's the homie, that's the homie Instagram. The homie Instagram, two, uh, 210 times 115, we used to be on a bus so much, nigga. The, two, the 210, to let the people know, that, that's that's, that's Crenshaw the Crenshaw bus. Yeah. Yeah. We used to take that motherfucker all the way down to nigga, nigga Wilshire, nigga, on my mama. Hey man, the 210, been the 210 since I was coming up. I used to get on that 210. I yeah. take it all the way to Hollywood and Highland. Nah, no cap. Yeah, I used to be on that bus. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't, nigga, I'm a, nigga, I'm a real nigga. On the set, I used to be on that. I wasn't always getting that money, for real. No, Feel I, me? Think, I think we all got bus stories as a kid. Right? You got to all it. It's got like, a, I'm, I'm an adventurous <laughs> nigga, though. Like, I like to go on adventures. So, like, that's just me. Like, even right now, I hop, if I'm in a good area, like my last show in Santa Barbara, Nigga, we hopped out the car and was walking all around that bitch, all around the campus, just, just kicking it with the white folks. You feel me? Because we know it ain't no gang shit going on over here, so we good. I like to walk and shit. I don't know. I like to use my legs. Uh, let's talk about some of your shows. You just mentioned Santa Barbara. Where are some other places you've performed at? Down there, everywhere. They get it. They get it. Uh, perform everywhere. They get Colorado. Like, damn near everywhere on the West. You feel me? I ain't performed on the East yet. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't performed on the east or the south or nothing, but everywhere on the west, I damn near locked that up already. But we gotta good, we gotta do big event shows. Like I didn't perform at Rolling Loud too, all that shit. Like so, I got the feel of everything for real. It ain't, it, it's all the same to me. I'm just rocking out with my cock out either way I go, whether it's one person there or a hundred thousand people there. I'm rocking out. Feel me? Okay, I gotta ask you about the. Um that the guy that did that song, Ingle Weird, I want to know what, what was your response to that when that song came out? How'd you feel about that? Shit. This in one of the, one of our top cities in, in the area. I mean, I don't, I don't speak on the dead, so I don't know. But a nigga don't like that shit. You already know, that shit regular. Yeah. I don't know. You already know, I don't speak on that type of shit. I don't know. Okay. I, I let people rest in peace. <laughs> So you open the performing to uh, at further places like on the East Coast, going out further. You open to that? Hell yeah, nigga! I'm trying to go see some hotties for real, like in New York. I heard New York got bad bitches. But you heard that? Yeah, New York got the hotties. So I don't know. I'm trying to go perform in front of them or something, or try to perform in front of me. Feel me? Whatever's clever. Yeah. There just need to be some performances going on. Feel me? All right, uh, give us all your uh, your social handles so that the people can tap in with with you. What'd you say? Give us all your social handles so the people can find you. Snow Garb TV, that's the YouTube, no cap, Snow Garb Exotics. You feel me on the hood, you can find that everywhere. You got Frosty MNB, that's my Instagram. Twitter, Snow Garb, on the hood. Um, you feel me? And just follow me on the set. My TikTok, Snowgirl TV. Just follow me everywhere. Just stay tuned. Because my Instagram always get deleted. But just know if you see me on that bitch, follow up on the hood. Because you know I'm coming with that hot shit. No cap. I do everything. I, I'm an entrepreneur. I rap. I trap. I do it all. Now, I see you, you tatted up on the arm. You must deliberately staying off the face. Oh, um, yeah. I just do that because, like, I don't know, like how I used to be. I, I used to be on some white collar type shit, you feel me? So, nigga can't just be going in all these places with all the, they gonna be on a nigga, you feel me? I used to do janky ass shit, so you feel me? I like, now I got like money so I can get tatted up, you feel me? Cause I don't be on no jank shit no more. Is that something you would consider, facial tats? If I feel like it, yeah, but I don't know. I don't, I'm light skinned, you know, that shit all go, go with it. I don't know, but I don't, I don't know. I might get my head tatted before my face. I don't know, I don't really, I don't know. It just I don't be knowing what I want. Like, I would have my whole my whole body blasted up, but I don't know what I want. What's you your feel? favorite what's your favorite tat? Um I just seen the police again. Uh, my favorite one? Uh shit. Uh shit, all of them. I like all of them, but shit, I guess uh That red ink comes out good on your Yeah, skin. I I like, I already got favorites because if I get a new one, that mean that that's my favorite one. You get what I'm saying? 
Like, it's like asking me what's my favorite pair of shoes, like the new ones I just bought. I don't know. Yeah. Feel me? Hey, that's funny. You got the the, uh, the, the double F. This is, uh, x Fo got the double F on his um, on his yeah. forehead, and you got the double my F. My staff are family first. Yeah. Feel me right here, family first. And I guess this is just 40 40? What does this stand for? <laughs> 40s. 40. Probably just 40s. And the police walking over here? But yeah, uh, uh, yeah, family first, you feel me? I see that Florida Marlin one, that's the tight. I got all type of Fs, F, F, F. What's your favorite F? F. I like this my this last one I got, so I like this one. Okay. Cause it's the, it's the newest one I got. That's the same F that the, uh, the Florences use. Yeah, man, it's the hardest F right here, this shit look hard. Is it cause of the shark? It just, yeah, it's probably got the shark in the back. I like the red one though. You know, I got this hat too. The red, the red, the, it's black and red, just like this. I like the red one. Hey, you feel me? What's, what's um, what side of this, this section are you from originally? Right here, like the nine foes. You feel me? But I'm what? So the nine foes has actually uh, got their own section, and, and then then the nine. Yeah, nine we like from right here, like to like ba like back, like we like from like right here and back like you feel me but like i'm from all of them though in the hood i go from fam Ness, yeah dead homies all the way feel me so you don't even gotta ask me that i am like you feel me gangland for real elite team but the nine foes got their own section because then then there's a we all got our own sections we got cps they over there on Sen in the sentinelas over there we got the nine deuces they over there by darby park and all that shit. we got the eight o's they by circle park over there we got the seven sevens they right there on 77th and crenshaw over there they on the borders yeah. feel me like we got all type of shit going on you feel me but we all one though yeah. you feel me yeah. like you could get touched up by any side they homies well, I think maybe uh, this is a good time to wrap it up, man. We got some police activity over here. Yeah, them niggas, yeah, them niggas snooping. You feel me? Yeah. We ain't tripping though. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm about to go in this beauty salon and get the yeah, garvin okay. up. Well, what's what's the likelihood of getting the store coming back up and running, man? Shit, I mean, it depends. Shit, I mean, we probably gonna buy it. We probably finna buy like three stores in this motherfucker. So we gonna we gonna figure it out. But really, we we trying to get on Melrose or something. Or we trying to get. With them white folks, so we could get that good money. You feel me? Yeah. I'm in the hood. <laughs> Damn, they back again. They tripping on F Street. Uh, we're going to wait for these guys to leave before we wrap this up. We're going to keep the camera rolling yeah. to see if. Uh, and see if they fuck with us. Oh, uh, they just stopped. Right. I think they might trip because you just moved your car from one disabled spot to another. Oh, that's a whole other one. We good. Oh, that's a different one? They were chasing some other shit. They were chasing some car over there. Oh yeah, now they ain't tripping on us, Pete. We ain't, we ain't worried about them. They ain't worried about us. We ain't worried about them. Move it on, move it on, move it on. Move it on. Oh, I mean, I'm finna start getting slow in a minute. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to pull me another cut, Pete. Run me another blunt, Pete. I ain't even ate yet. I ain't. Oh no, I ate before I pulled up. I ate Hungry Joe's. You gotta go try this. You try Hungry Joe's? No, where's Hungry Joe's at? Right here on uh, Chanel and La Brea type shit. You think we could um, one day pull up there and do a video uh, eating the Hungry Joe's food? Yeah, what but they don't got really know where to sit inside, and it's oh. dangerous right there. You oh, feel okay. me? Like that. Everywhere that's dangerous, that's where the good food spots is. So you got to get in and out. You got to call before you go <laughs> and get in and out. But it'd be uh, fire, though. You can't sit down and, and enjoy the food. Oh, uh, no. Nah, we going to have to bring you back right here to the spot. Hey, what's, you know? up, with, what's up with the Brawley Hood? That used to be a thing back in the day. Is on the 111? Yeah. Hey, don't we got a Brawley Hood right here? On Crenshaw. Yeah, on Blood, on Crenshaw. Oh, yeah. Crenshaw it's both. It's, it's still a spot? I think so. I ain't been right there in a long time. It's bull though. Okay. It's all right. That's ain't all that. Oh, yeah. blood. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 I'm finna go. All right, man. We're gonna uh, we're, we're gonna call it a wrap right here, man. Thank, thank yeah, you. Get all that south of Swami. We finna go. Thank, thanks for tapping in, Frosty. It's good in the hood. You already know. Tap in, Garb Nation though, Inglewood. Yeah, it is. Yep, on the set. You already know what's going on. Tap in on me. Uh, follow me. Subscribe. Snowgirl TV. YouTube, Instagram, Frosty MNB, Gangland, Street TV, y'all already know what's going on, Garb Nation.